Fire extinguishers are an important part of any home fire escape plan. They can save lives and property by putting out a small fire or suppressing it until the fire department arrives. Hello, I'm fire engineer Kevin Shriver with the San Jose Fire Department. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to properly select, use, maintain, and dispose of a fire extinguisher. Let's get started. There are five common types of fire extinguishers. These are labeled using standard letter or picture symbols that correlate to the type of fire they are designed for. A multi-purpose extinguisher rated A, B, C is recommended for home use. If you're purchasing one for a business, consider what class of fire your business may encounter using this chart. When there's a fire, it can be tempting to grab a fire extinguisher right away. However, there are a few important things you need to do beforehand. First, identify your escape routes. If you can't put out a fire, you'll need to make a safe exit. Second, warn everyone in your home. Make sure they're aware of the fire so that they can start evacuating right away. Third, call 911. The fire department will be on their way in case the fire grows out of control. Lastly, assess the fire. It's best to use a fire extinguisher on a fire that is small, contained, not rapidly growing, and in an area that is not yet filled with smoke. Only after these four steps should you attempt to put out a fire. Now let's go over how to properly use a fire extinguisher. Once you've assessed the fire and determined that it can be put out with an extinguisher, you want to first grab your extinguisher. Stand back six to eight feet and face the fire. Remember to keep your back towards the exit you previously identified just in case you need to make a safe exit. So now you're ready to discharge the fire extinguisher using the PASS acronym. Keeping the nozzle pointed away from you, you want to pull the pin by twisting, releasing the locking mechanism, and pulling the pin out. Aim low. Point the nozzle of the extinguisher at the base of the fire. Squeeze the lever slowly and evenly. Sweep the nozzle from side to side. Once the fire is out, or if you're unable to extinguish the fire, leave the scene, find safety, and call 911 immediately if you haven't done so. To ensure your fire extinguishers are in proper working order when you need it the most, you should briefly inspect the fire extinguisher at least once a month. Make sure the can, hoses, and nozzles aren't damaged, dented, or rusted. Check that the pressure gauge is in the green zone. For maximum protection, it's also important to think about the number and placement of fire extinguishers in your home. We recommend you identify the rooms in your home that pose greater fire risks and place fire extinguishers in these key locations. For example, consider putting them in the kitchen, each floor of your home, garage, laundry room, and patio. Just make sure they're easily accessible to adults who know how to operate them, but kept out of reach of children. Once you've used a fire extinguisher, you should either dispose of it or refill it. Not all fire extinguishers are refillable, so you'll have to read the instruction manual for your particular model. Your fire extinguishers should only be recharged by a certified fire equipment dealer or a fire protection company. Otherwise, you can dispose of a fire extinguisher through the County of Santa Clara's Household Hazardous Waste Program. Visit hhw.org or call 408-299 7300 for more information. A fire extinguisher that has been properly selected, maintained, and used can save lives and property. But remember, it's only one part of your home fire escape plan. Advanced planning will help ensure that you and your family are ready for any fire emergency. Until next time, bye-bye.